Hi. I had a total system failure. And uh, looking at this control system, you might just think that, well, if you blew on it, it stopped working. But uh, that wasn't the problem. Uh, about a month ago, I had a lightning strike, and the system went down and uh, took out a lot of things, uh, including the microprocessor. You know, I use a, a Uno board, and uh, this particular board, it functioned except uh, the one channel that uh, I got the uh, refrigerator temperature from. Uh, that didn't work anymore. You know, the lightning had burnt a hole in the silicon. And, uh, you know, I was in a rush, and I just moved things around. I had this second microprocessor down here, and I moved some stuff to that. And uh, I was going to put the refrigerator program totally in that one. Uh, the reason is is that I'm playing around with the charge control system. Uh, you know, everything was centralized. Uh, you know, this one microprocessor ran everything. And I didn't like that for, for two reasons. Uh, if I ever was doing any software changes, uh, it would take down the whole system. And, I, you know, you need to have the refrigerator running. Uh, if you have a little software error that uh, you can't find, you know, you just can't have your program not run for an hour. So anyways, I replaced it with this little Nano. And uh, believe it or not, that actually has a little more capability than, than the big one. It's uh, program-wise, it's identical. It actually has two more A to D inputs. So anyways, I had been running with this one. And like I said, uh, one A to D input was shot. And it kept working. And one thing about lightning, a lot of damage occurs later uh, when you have sensitive electronics. You know, there's a, you know, you've damaged the silicon, and after a while it starts to spread. And I was gonna, you know, replace it, but, you know, you're busy, and like it works, and like, well, I'll do it later. Well, one day it just stopped working, and uh, I just happened to notice it was towards the end of the day. Uh, the refrigerator was getting warm, and noticed it wasn't turning on. And so when you have a problem like this, uh, it's nice to have some diagnostics. You know, the one thing nice about the, uh, the UNO is it has this uh, capability of having the nice little diagnostic screen that you can uh, look at all the values. And I noticed that my battery voltage was at uh, 19 volts, and the program is, is set to turn off when the voltage goes over like 14.7 volts because the inverter will shut down and if that happens you, you want to do a restart on the refrigerator and wait till things are normal otherwise you have to you know it it'll restart automatically in about you know 27 minutes so uh, yeah whenever you have one of these systems it's it's nice to have everything in one computer yeah you can do it but it's nice to have, you know, distributed control. And, and when everything went out, this little charge controller on the 36 volt string, that kept working. Uh, the Make Sky Blue, no matter what I say about it, it, it kept working. And uh, the water heater control uh, for the second tank, that kept working because these are all independent systems. The water heater control for number one tank, uh, that was out because that was, you know, under the microprocessor control. And of course, you know, the refrigerator didn't work. So, you know, that all had to all be fixed. So anyways, I, you know, put in this new board and I uh, had to make this wiring harness for it. And I get everything up kind of running. But the refrigerator won't turn on, and I look at the diagnostics, and the refrigerator program says, yeah, it should be running. Well, these cables are really cheap. You know, they only have about three strands of wire on them. Uh, basically, each cable is about two cents each. And, uh, you know, you get what you pay for. Trouble is, is you can't really specify buying a better one <laughs> unless you're getting it from a really expensive source. 
and uh, the uh, refrigerator came out of a digital four output and there was just no connection and I've seen this before you know uh, every once in a while you get one of these that has no connection so uh, luckily I had a spare port and I moved it over to uh, the digital six and then everything worked again but yeah you know as much as I'd like you to say you can build this too you need to have some a capability of doing diagnostics and you have to be able to think like a microprocessor and uh, you know be able to in your mind understand what's happening otherwise you know if you can't fix it uh, you know what good is it all the technology in the world won't help you if you can't maintain the system so uh, yeah that's what I've been doing and uh, you know it's not all fun and games but uh, we're up and running and uh, you know this always looks like it's not completed and that's the way it is because what I've done is I have my own personal vision I keep changing things around if it was ever permanent I'd make it look really neat but uh, I've already got new ideas for next year I want to try hey it's just fun and games so thanks for watching